What's up guys? My name is uh, Tai Zen. Welcome to the uh, Cryptocurrency.Market channel. Uh, this is a trading, investing, and entrepreneurship channel. Uh, in this video guys, I want to talk about, um, you know, uh, making sure that when you start your business in the um, cryptocurrency space or in the blockchain space, that you're starting it for the right reasons. And I want to talk a little bit about, <clears throat> share with you guys how we tested our uh, our uh, <clears throat> our um, ideas before we went to market with our products and our services on our channel. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, you guys uh, know that we started one of the first uh, uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, trading and investing channels uh, on the internet uh, back in 2013, and back then I saw a lot of people uh, on Trading View. Uh, just saying a bunch of garbage and a bunch of uh, uh, just nonsense about trading and investing in, in Bitcoin back then. There was not much talk about altcoins back then. And at that time, I was trading uh, Forex uh, stocks, futures, and I was working at a uh, trading school where my friends and I were teaching people how to trade stocks, futures, Forex, options, things like that. And so I saw a lot of the, the, the traders in the trading view chat uh, say a bunch of nonsense and a bunch of stuff that was just that I knew that would get people slaughtered uh, if they did that out in the markets. So I contributed to it, and then that led me to uh, opening up my, our uh, YouTube channel so I can share my trading experience with other people, right? And that was in 2013. By 2014, uh, after the uh, crash of Mt. Gox and after the price of Bitcoin shot up from like, you know, in the low uh, 100s all the way up to uh, $1,200, there, there was a huge demand for trading and investing education in the cryptocurrency space. And a lot of people were contacting me and my business partner, uh, the Honorable Grandmaster, legendary, world-renowned uh, LeonFu.com. So, um, they were contacting us to um, to invest the money for them okay so just random people online were saying hey you know we've been following your channel now you know and you guys are the only ones out there that you know are talking about the reality and and, 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 and about trading and investing in Bitcoin and we want to give you money so that you can invest it for us and then we'll split the profits now I got several of these requests and at, at the beginning, I didn't know if it was bullshit or not. I didn't know if it was just a bunch of scammers, right? And it took a while, but I finally got a hold of one of them, uh, one of these people that were uh, constantly uh, contacting us. And after a conversation, I discovered that there really are people out there that want to learn how to trade and invest in, in, in Bitcoins um, and cryptocurrencies and do it the way that we did, okay? Because they saw us get into Ethereum, they saw us get into Waves, they saw us get into Lisk, and, and a bunch of other Stratus, and a, a Neo, and they saw how much money we were making. And so, they wanted to know how we did it so they can learn it too. And at first, you know, uh, we did not want to manage anyone's money because we did not have the proper uh, permits, uh, uh, documentation, and paperwork from the government in the U.S. So we decided, hey, you know, since we were working at a trading school, teaching people how to trade stocks, forex, futures, options, you know, and we had experience in teaching people how to trade, why don't we set up a curriculum in uh, a course uh, about trading and investing? And then we uh, uh, teach it, right? So the first thing we did was um, I wanted to test to see if this was possible, okay? And I didn't know if we announced that, hey, we were gonna do a class, and if anybody was interested. So at first, I, I just sent out a few tweets that, hey, we could, you know, we're thinking about doing a, a boot camp, like a four day boot camp to teach people how to trade and invest in crypto. And we got some, some decent comments, some positive comments. And then we got more people asking us when we're gonna do the boot camp, when we're gonna do the conference, things like that. And th we started getting some feedback from our viewers. And at that time, we had like, um, um, somewhere between, I think just above 5,000 subscribers. Now, that does not seem like a lot, okay? But you gotta keep in mind that back in 2014, 2015, 
uh, having a, a channel that talks about trading and investing in Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies with 5,000 subscribers is a lot of people, okay? Um, I know there's channels like, you know, uh, Ivan on Tech and, 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 and Omar's channel, the Crypto News and things like that, where they have over 100,000 uh, uh, subscribers now. But back uh, in those days, there was nobody talking about trading and investing in, in uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. There was other channels like Mad Bitcoins or like James D'Angelo's channel, uh, the, uh, the World Bitcoin Network or the uh, uh, Andreas Antonopoulos. Those guys were talking about technology, the Bitcoin technology, but not, uh, uh, no one was talking about trading and investing in, 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 in uh, Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies except for our channel. And then the second channel that came along was another uh, uh, fellow um, a Texan named Chris Dunn out of the city of Austin, Texas. And he started talking about uh, trading uh, in Bitcoin also, but he didn't talk too much about trading in cryptocurrencies. He just focused a lot on just Bitcoin only. Okay, so he was a futures trader. So, you know, he talked about trading Bitcoin also. But back then, we didn't know how realistic the classes or the boot camps would go. And my friends and I, we were used to teaching a uh, a uh, stock trading class uh, that cost between anywhere between like eighteen to fifty thousand dollars back uh, at the stock trading school that I was working at, right? So we didn't know if, hey, you know, if we do a class for eighteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, if anybody would pay for that. So instead of creating the curriculum and everything, right, what we did was we uh, advertised at first, we put out a, uh, um, uh, a sales letter, a sales page on our site, and you can go look at it. It's at um, uh, cryptocurrency.market uh, slash uh, bootcamp. And you can go look at it, you can read it. And we did that one, and we were able to do uh, 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 a tremendous uh, 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 um, amount of sales, okay? It, it was in the uh, six figures, okay? And um, um, we, we, we were really, really happy with it, right? Um, and that's when we, we, what we did was we tested to see if people really wanted to pay uh, for us to do the, um, the uh, class or not. So we posted that uh, 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 sales page, that sales letter that advertised what we, were go we wanted to offer, right? And then we set the boot camp out like way out in advance. I think we set the date for the boot camp like on July 4th, 2017 in Los Angeles. And we started uh, advertising and talking about it and telling people that, hey, you know, uh, sign up for our boot camp, uh, for our cryptocurrency investing boot camp. Uh, somewhere at the beginning of the year in January 2017. Uh, we, we just mentioned about it, but then by about uh, four months before the boot camp date, we really um, uh, announced it uh, much more uh, frequently, okay? And what happened was we discovered that, that uh, we, we, we discovered that, um, we, we, we discovered that people started signing up, right? And we found out how much the hotel cost was, how much the computer or the laptops uh, cost, how much the hardware wallets cost. So we had a really rough estimate of the expenses, okay? Now, we were used to, we had experience teaching people uh, how to trade stocks at you know hotels, uh, conference rooms, and stuff like that. So we had experience of how much that would cost, how much room we needed, how many projectors, how many books, how many training manuals. So we had experience in doing all that already. So that was not, like the logistics was not really a huge issue because we were teaching a stocks or forex or futures or options class every week for like uh, um, uh, pretty much like for the last six seven years already so that that was not like a big deal to us we had experience in doing that um, the deal that we did not have experience in was that whether or not someone was we knew that people were willing to pay twenty thousand uh, dollars per person to attend a uh, stock trading class for uh, a week um, and we knew that that was possible. We'd been doing that for many years already, so that was not really a question of whether or not people were willing to pay or not. But this was crypto, this was Bitcoin, and we didn't know. So we advertised that, and we did that on our channel. And by the time, by around that time, our channel grew to about 10,000 subscribers by the middle of 2017. And we were able to do um, uh, roughly almost a, uh, I think it was almost a quarter million in sales uh, for the uh, the first boot camp, okay. So because of that, we took that money and we reinvested back in in everything that it cost. And the uh, cost of the boot camp 
was we estimated that it was going to cost us like somewhere close to uh, uh, probably around eighty-five thousand dollars to do the boot camp before we break even. Okay, that's the cost of computers, the cost of expenses, the cost of hardware, uh, everything, because it was a hands-on boot camp, and then the cost to hire all the attorneys to um, to uh, um, to the cost to hire all the attorneys to uh, review uh, uh, our boot camp. Like we had several attorneys sit in the boot camp to review and make sure everything that we said was in compliance with uh, U.S. financial laws and U.S. you know business laws and things like that. Because we didn't know that stuff. We had familiarity with it working at the stock trading school, but we wanted to make sure. So our we I estimated that our break even was somewhere I think around eighty five. $90,000, somewhere around there, that was like the break-even point. So we had to raise about $100,000 before we would do the boot camp. And in the, uh, um, the uh, uh, boot camp registration sales letter page, right, you guys can see that, you know, we promised that uh, in the first one that if we didn't, you know, uh, have enough people or did not have enough interest, then we would just refund everyone their money and then be done with. Well, luckily, within like the first, I think, a month or two, or I think, I can't remember the exact numbers, guys, but within the first month or two, we had, an, we had raised, like, uh, uh, we had sold enough uh, uh, registrations, we had enough registrations to get $100,000. So that was the uh, first thing that we did was we went and, um, uh, and, uh, and bought all the laptops, all the computers, all the hardware walls. We uh, uh, reserved the, the hotel conference room in um, in uh, Los Angeles uh, for the boot camp, right? And that's when we started, you know, putting the uh, the the course curriculum together. Started, you know, printing out all the training manuals and everything. And so that's when we did it. Okay. Now I'm sharing this with you guys, right? And you might hear that, oh, you know, uh, um, he did the boot camp for almost a quarter million dollars, and that you know he made good profits. You know, deduct the you know hundred thousand dollars in expenses and then make another 150,000 uh, in profit, okay? Now, that, that all sounds good, guys, but the reality is, what, what's the reality, okay? The reality is there was a lot of things that we did not know, okay? So, at that time, we were busy trading uh, uh, our personal portfolios and we didn't pay attention to our company uh, uh, crypto uh, uh, reserves, right? So, when we got the money in, we actually uh, broke even because it cost us um, um, the uh, the legal expenses um, to review the videos and make sure that everything we said was compliant with U.S. financial laws. That that costed way more than what we anticipated, and just the time that it took to produce the videos um, uh, of the boot camp to record it, to edit it, and and have it legally reviewed and everything. That cost a lot more than we had anticipated. Um, so there's a lot of legal costs that was associated with getting a video copy of the boot camp to be correct in the way that we wanted it. Um, way more than what we ever anticipated and we completely miscalculated that. And there was other things that we uh, uh, knickknacks here and there that did not seem like a lot of money. And maybe I'll talk about it in a separate video of some of the mistakes that we made um, in our first boot camp. But it pretty much came out broke even and the uh, profit that we actually made was we got the complete edited video copy of the entire boot camp and now we can sell it online um, and, and make uh, additional uh, uh, profit from, from a recurring uh, sales from the video copy of the first boot camp that we did in Los Angeles. Okay, So that, that's really our main profit and in the beginning we said that hey if we do this and we make a uh, profit from it um, that's fine, like a, a, a dollar or a crypto profit from it, it was fine. But our primary goal was to have a completed, legally reviewed, yeah, complete course so that we can sell online. Because we didn't, our goal was not to do a boot camp every year or twice a year or every week like we did in the stock market world, okay? Our goal was just to have a completed product that we can just sell online and that's what we wanted because um, we were full-time traders uh, at that time and we still are and we just don't have the time or the the desire or the inclination uh, to just be doing a boot camp or a conference or a class every week or every year or things like that the only time we do it is to, to that is to update the content in our course and that's when we do a live event 
so that we can, because it's more natural and I feel more comfortable and our team feels more natural and comfortable to teach the updated content in front of a live audience than it is to just, just teach in front of a camera like this. Um, because I like the interaction when the students are asking us questions and then I answer it back and then I get to record that and then that way I can share with uh, future students that we have. So that's what I prefer better and that's what our team prefers also, okay? So, we did that. The lesson that, that you guys want to take away from this uh, video is this, is that before you, um, you uh, come out with a product or a service, make sure that you test it to see if somebody's willing to pay you for it, okay? So, many of you guys know that we, you know, I, I believe that we have a successful business with our channel, uh, Cryptocurrency.Market, but that was not always the case. Um, I actually built about, I think, 58, if I remember it correctly, it's something in the 50s, okay? 50-something websites and domains before we hit it big with cryptocurrency.market. So on the surface, you guys might see that, hey, you know, Ty, you know, they, they, they're successful traders and investors, and they also have a successful website, successful business and everything. But the reality is, it was not always that way. Uh, many of you guys know that when I came to America as a Vietnamese refugee, I grew up very poor in the black ghetto neighborhoods in America, and I hung around the wrong guys and I got involved in drugs and ended up in federal prison for nearly uh, 14 years of my life. And so from the time I was 18 to the time like pretty much when I was in my mid 30s, that, that all that time was lost uh, in prison or in the courts or, or something, right? And so I didn't start uh, making money or, or making an attempt to make money until I was in my mid 30s. And thanks to uh, uh, my trading, I was able to retire by the time I was, uh, you know, uh, in my mid 40s, okay? And that, that came directly just from my trading. That did not come from our cryptocurrency.market uh, 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 business or our channel, okay? That just came directly all from our trading, okay? So, I'm very proud of that. I'm very happy about that. But I also, the, the, the business was also a nice stream of income for us, and it still is a nice stream of income uh, for us right now from the uh, uh, sales of the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. That's why you guys hear me talk about it uh, uh, a lot uh, on every video, right? Uh, because I think that that's one of the greatest uh, 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 trading uh, products and trading courses out there for anyone that's serious about managing a seven, eight, or nine figure portfolio in the cryptocurrency space, okay? So that shares everything that we did uh, to get us to where we're at today, to become millionaires and be able to retire uh, uh, early, okay? so. That's it. If you want to get a copy of it, go get you a copy of the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint at uh, www.cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. It is a video recording of the entire uh, 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 boot camp that we did, okay? So, doing those, uh, uh, back to what I was saying about the 50-something uh, websites that I had started, I tried I try to do it in the fitness uh, industry, I tried to do it in the personal development industry, I tried to do it in the all kinds of different industries, but it always failed because I was trying to make a product uh, that I thought the market wanted instead of making a product uh, of what the market actually wanted. And the way that, that I could have known that much earlier and not waste you know, uh, uh, seven, eight years of my life trying to build products and services that people did not want or did not want to pay for, okay? So, um, I hope that this video helps you guys understand that go out there and test people, ask people, ask the market, ask the world if they want to give you money for your product first. And even if you have a, a small loss or just a break even, I think it's still worth doing because it allows you to test to see whether or not it would work or not. If I had to go back in, in, in history and start my business and become an entrepreneur all over again, that, that would be the first thing I would do is I would ask myself, okay, well, what is the product that I want to build here? And then let me go out and see. Uh, the customers that I'm building it for. Let me see if they want to pay for it first, whether I go knock on people's doors and ask them, hey man, you want to pay for this product that, that I'm going to build here? I'm going to have it built in like three months or six months. Are you willing to put a down payment or a deposit or pay for it in advance? More than likely, if people don't want to pay for it in advance or, or pay for your product or even put like a 10% down payment or anything like that, then more than likely, you got to reevaluate the product or the service that you're, you plan on offering because more than likely, if the market does not want to pay for it, more than likely, you, you probably don't want to build it just yet, okay? Um, and, and there's times when people say, hey, Ty, you know, uh, you know, 
uh, Facebook was built before it was needed, you know, Google was built before it was needed, all, all this other stuff. And, you know, I'm not disagreeing with that, guys, but in my opinion, it's a lot, when you don't have a lot of money and you're starting out in your entrepreneurship journey, I believe that it's a lot easier if you test out the markets and, and, and see if the market's willing to pay for your product or service before you go out there and do it. You know, me asking for uh, doing a pre-sale of the cryptocurrency investing boot camp before we did the boot camp, that was, uh, 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 in my opinion, the best approach. You know, pre-sell your products, pre-sell your uh, services, and see if the market is willing to pay you for it before you go out there and build it. Matter of fact, before we came out with our, um, our uh, uh, boot camp, right? Uh, no, no, with our cryptocurrency investing blueprint, when it was ready to go to market, we actually did a sale on it just to test it, just to see if, okay, we have the product ready to go to market and everything, and we wanted to test and see, hey, if we say that the blueprint would be available like 30 days later or 60 days later, will people, will the market still give us money today for it? And we tested it, and the market was willing to give us money for it. And, and we were really happy with the, the testing of that. Now, not because we made money on it, but because our viewers trusted us and believed us enough to give us money advance for our product that was coming out in another month or two. Okay, so we, that, that was what we were really happy about. So I invite you to consider whatever product that you have or whatever service that you have that you plan on releasing or building for the market, uh, especially in the crypto or blockchain space or in any market, you know, this channel, will, you know, right now the, the blockchain and cryptocurrency space is hot, so we're talking about it. But the reality is, it, whatever market, whatever industry, whatever niche that you're in, whether you're in the fitness, the, 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 the medical or, or plastic surgery or, or, you know, anything, any industry that, that you want to be in, I highly recommend that you, you get involved in that and, and do that first. Uh, test it, pre-sell it, figure out if somebody will give you some money for it before you actually go and do it so you don't waste you know, years and years like I did and 58 websites later before you finally hit one that uh, is successful, okay? So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna hear more about how you know, we built our business up and became one of the most popular channels and popular uh, 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 authorities in the cryptocurrency space, how we did the sales, how we did the marketing, how we built an audience and things like that, um, leave a comment below this video. Tell us what you want to know, and when I have time to uh, make a video, I'll make a video to share with you guys uh, so that you guys can become uh, successful too, okay? Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you want a copy of the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint so you can learn how to manage a seven, eight, or nine-figure portfolio, go to www.cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. Get your copy today. Follow me on Twitter at HeyTaiZen and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. Thank you.